Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well and a very warm welcome to in this session where we are going to discuss on multi-class classification matrix like macro and micro averaged precision recall and F1 score. So basically in multi-class classification task where we are having more than one classes means we are having multiple classes and we are working on some evaluation matrix like precision, recall and F1 score. And if we want to figure out this evaluation matrix, which are classification matrix, then using different, different techniques, we can calculate this precision recall and F1 score by different averaging strategies such as macro average and micro average. Basically in macro average and micro average, the key difference is consideration of classes, right? So these strategies will provide insights into overall performance of the classifier across all classes. So now let's come to know what exactly are they. Basically, if I talk about macro average, in macro average computes the metric that is precision recall and F1 score based on each class, based on each class independently. And then takes the average across all classes, right? So in macro average, each class will be treated equally. The importance of each class is equal here and they are going to be useful when you want to evaluate the model's performance across different classes without considering class imbalance, right? On the other hand, we are having micro average. In micro average, it aggregates the contribution of all classes to compute the metric. Basically, it considers overall performance across all classes, giving more weight to larger classes. It is useful when you want to evaluate the overall performance of the classifier irrespective of class distribution. So whenever we are going to treat each class individually, each class equally, it is going to be micro averaged metric like precision recall and F1. When we are going to treat all classes equally means we are going to perform the averaging on all classes at one time. In that case, it, go, it is going to be considered as a micro average precision and recall and F1 score. So here, what will exactly happen that the class which is highly weighted are going to kind of uh, give a uh, uh, dominate over the classes who are not having that much weight in the data sets, right? Okay. So let's figure out this particular concepts with the help of one important example. Let's consider a multi-class classification problem with three classes, class A, class B and class C. Actual labels, that is the ground truth is class A is having 20 samples. Class B is having uh, 30 samples and class C is having 50 samples. This is ground truth, actual labels that is going to be called as actual positives, actual positives. We can call it them or we can call them as a true positive. We can call them here as a true positive, right? So uh, they are actual positive. This is the ground truth. Now, what is the predicted label? 18 are correctly predicted and 2 is incorrectly predicted in class A. The model is in class B, 25 correct predictions, 5 incorrect predictions. And in class C, 45 correct predictions and 5 incorrect predictions. Right? Now, we need to calculate macro average precision recall and F1 score and micro average precision recall and F1 score. So let's begin. Basically, when I talk about precision, then in case of precision, if we are working on macro average, we are separately calculating precision. So precision of A is true positive of class A, that is 18, divided by true positive plus false positive, that is actual positive, that is actual positive, that is 20. 
so it is going to give us 0.9 on the other hand precision of b is true positive divide by true positive plus false positive that is actual positives so 25 divide by 30 you can also call them as a precision is nothing but true positive divide by actual positives and actual positives are this 20 30 50 which is ground truth they are called as actual positives right so actual positives are true positive plus false positive okay now precision for class c is true positive in class c that is 45 divide by actual positive that is 50 and we are having result like this now what we are doing we are doing macro averaging means summing up and divide by total number of classes so 0 0.877 it is our macro average precision here on the other hand if we work on recall factor then recall for class a is true positive divided by actual positive so here you can say that 0 0.9 again recall for b is true positive divided by uh, okay here is in recall true positive divided by true positive plus false negative false negative means what false negatives are the total number of uh, labels that is incorrectly predicted that is false negative right so incorrectly predicted that is false negative right so here 0 0.9 what is recall factor of class b true positive divided by true positive of b plus false negative of b that is 0 0.833 and recall factor of class c is true positive that is 45 divided by true positive plus false negative so here 0 0.9 it is so again if you are going to do the macro average then macro average recall is 0 0.9 plus 0 0.833 plus 0 0.9 divided by total number of classes that is 0 0.877 so basically precision is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive that is actual positive it is called as and uh, recall is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative basically four classes are there true positive true negative false positive and false negative as here we are not having uh, false positive and true negative due to which we are getting recall factor and precision same okay now on the other hand uh, f1 score so in a macro average if you are going to calculate the precision this is nothing but uh, f1 score is nothing but harmonic mean over precision and recall that is harmonic mean harmonic mean over precision and recall that is 2 into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall so for each individual class that is for class a f1 score is harmonic mean of precision and recall so precision and recall of that particular class so they have we are treating we are treating in one decimal 0 0.877 as a 0. Point. class a here you can see uh, recall is 0. 0.9 and precision is also 0. 0.9 so 0. 0.9 is the answer that is f1 score for class a for class b for class b if you will see here f1 score then it is again harmonic mean of precision and recall over this class that is 0 0.833 and f1 score over class c is harmonic mean over precision and recall of this class that is 0 0.9 now what we need to do we need to do average separately like this and we are going to get 0 0.877 that is macro average f1 score of class a class b and class c right now on the other hand on the counterpart if we need to figure out micro average precision recall and f1 score then initially by default we are doing the sum of all true positives 18 25 45 that are predicted correctly so 88 labels are corrected predictly that is true positives on the other end total false negative false positives are 255 that is 12 and total false negatives are 255 that is 12 that is 12 labels are predicted incorrectly so micro average precision total true positives are 88 divided by actual positives that is total data actual positives was 100 so we are having 0 0.88 0 0.88 as a micro average precision Right. So what here we are doing, we are considering all classes together. 
So obviously the class which is having highly weighted here this 45 is highly weighted it is going to dominate over the results right okay. So what is micro average recall total true positive that is 88 divided by total true positive plus total false negative. So again ultimately it will 100 so 0 0.88 again and one more thing is micro average F1 score that is harmonic mean of 2 into micro average precision that we get is 0 0.88 over the classes into recall. So F1 score is nothing but harmonic mean over precision and recall, right? Harmonic mean over precision and recall. So ultimately here we are getting 0 0.88 again. But here all classes are together irrespective of the class we have calculated the result. So what is the conclusion? In this example, both macro averaged and micro averaged precision recall and F1 score are computed for multi-class classification and out of which my macro averaged metrics treat each class equally, right? While micro averaged metrics consider overall performance across all classes, weighting larger classes more heavily. This metric provide valuable insights into the classifier's performance and can be used to compare different multi-class classification models, right? So understanding and using this matrix is essential for effective evaluating and optimizing multi-class classification models, right? Each averaging strategy that is macro averaging and micro averaging offers unique perspective on models performance, adding in decision making and model selection process that which model could be better depend on the particular domain, right? So this is all about micro averaged and macro averaged precision, right? And uh, this is how we can calculate multi-class classification metrics over macro precision, macro recall, macro F1 and micro precision, micro recall and micro F1, right? So if anywhere you are having doubt, any confusion query, feel free to ask, stay tuned for more important lectures, subscribe this channel and ask your doubts in the comment section. Guys, have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.